I was injured on a job in my previous job and I came to spend some time with my parents here in London, Kentucky. And uh, I, as I was sitting around, my mother says, Michael, while you're resting, while you're resting, uh, you, why don't you refinish these old chairs? And they happen to be chairs that my grandfather made years ago. So as I was scraping the paint off, I told my mother, I said, uh, Ma, I can make chairs easier than this and taking all the paint off. So uh, she says, well, let me see you do it. So I, I refinished her chairs and learned how to strip bark from the hickory tree and uh, learned how to weave them and, and, uh, and came up with a fairly nice set of chairs for her that happened to be her father's. And she was really proud about it. She said, boy, you ought to do this. Red Dog was a, 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 just a faithful old dog that we had here of no particular uh, fancy breed. He was just a, 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 a nice dog. Uh, my wife came out one day and she says, uh, what, what are you going to name your company? In, in, in kind of a, a joking manner. And I said, well, we'll just name it after the dog. So we, we named him Red Dog, Red Dog and Company. I guess my wife and I were the company. Now we make chairs out of oak, ash, walnut, sometimes American chestnut, uh, uh, a cherry, hickory, it, just about any type of uh, wood a, per, uh, a customer might want. And uh, we have to, we buy the log, we have it sawed up, we uh, shape the pieces, steam them on certain, uh, some of the parts are steamed so we can bend them. and then uh, the assembly. We construct them in a manner that we want them to be a heirloom and advertise them as such, that your great grandkids will have these chairs uh, when you're gone. And of all the chairs that we've made, we haven't had one that, that's come back. That, uh, so, you know, uh, apparently we're achieving some of our goals. make everything from rockers, uh, uh, three styles of rockers to uh, tables uh, and just about everything in between. The style of my chairs uh, resemble, they have a, uh, an Appalachian influence, but the chairs that were made a hundred years ago were much smaller. I make them a little bit bigger. I bend the back so they're more comfortable than the old type of mountain chairs. And uh, a lot of people, when they see the mule layer chairs uh, that have, have that were raised in in Appalachia, they say, "Oh, my grandfather had one just about like that," you know. And, and they, it brings back memories, and that's that's what I try to try to keep that influence, uh, the uh, Appalachian influence. I originally uh, did everything when I first started, but uh, uh, it got to a point where the business was just too much for one person to handle and, and therefore we're, we're doing, uh, we're farming a lot of the work out in the community, which helps quite a bit. It's rewarding, very, very rewarding. And uh, I'd rather be doing this than doing nothing and whether, there's been many years that I didn't make a penny, in fact, lost money making chairs, but I knew that this is what I want to do, and I mean, what else can you, what else can you ask for, if you know what I'm saying?